Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to withdraw XRP from your Coinbase Pro account into your own wallet. Today I'm going to be using the Ledger Nano X. I'm also going to show you how to move it back to the exchange from your wallet so you can see how the transfer works from both directions. So let's get started. All right, so I get a lot of questions about XRP and trying to withdraw it. A lot of people uh, are just sending me error messages that they get. Simil uh, usually they get the message, uh, not a valid XRP address. I have not been able to recreate that. But uh, so I figured what I'll do is just show you step by step what I do. Maybe you're missing a step somewhere, leaving something off. I don't really know why that people are getting that message, but I would like to just show you the process of withdrawing XRP from an exchange to your own wallet. All right, so I'm going to use Ledger Live, which is the interface to uh, a Ledger hardware wallet, one of the safest and most secure ways to store your cryptocurrency. So I've got an XRP account over here. And so in order to withdraw from Coinbase Pro, I need to generate a receiving address for my XRP wallet. So I can just click receive here, uh, click continue, and it wants me to open the XRP app on my device. Okay, so it's asking me to open the XRP app on my device uh, so that I can verify this receiving address. So I'll just navigate over to XRP, and once I'm on top of XRP, I'll hit both buttons. And the uh, device says the application is ready. And then you'll notice there that uh, they have generated the address in Ledger Live. And now they want me to verify that on the device. So I'm going to hit this button here to advance over to the next screen. There's that little tiny arrow. I'm just going to advance over to the next screen. I'm going to eyeball that address and make sure it's the same one that shows up on my screen. This is a security failsafe. All right and then I'll get over to approve. Now before I click approve on the device, I want to copy this address into my clipboard. Now you'll notice there that there is no tag, right? They are not giving us a tag, uh, T-A-G, right? That's uh, the part that gets people really confused. Why doesn't my Ledger Live uh, give me a tag? Well, the reason why is because you don't need the tag for a wallet, your own wallet. All right, so now I'm going to click approve here on the device to get that uh, dismissed, but I still have that XRP in my uh, clipboard. All right, so now let's go over to uh, Coinbase Pro. We'll go to portfolios, and as you can see, I've got $50 worth of XRP in my uh, portfolio. I'll just click right on top of that. Now I want to do a withdrawal, All right? And I'll go to XRP. And I'm going to withdraw to a crypto address. So I'll click this. Now I need to enter the XRP address. Well, we copied it into our clipboard. So I can just paste it in there. Now that it's pasted in there, I need to click this uh, pop down here where it says use this address. I'll click that. It recognizes it as a valid XRP address. Now it's asking for the tag. Remember, the ledger did not generate a tag. The ledger does not require a tag. So you can safely tick this box off that says, I do not require the XRP tag. Now we'll go down to amount. We can put in however much I want to send. Uh, I'm just going to send the max. All right. Now, if you have a lot of XRP in Coinbase Pro and you're attempting to transfer it to your own wallet, for the very first time, please, please, please start with a small amount. Do not transfer your entire life savings in one fell swoop if you've never done it before and you're not sure how it works, right? You might screw something up. So please, start with a small amount. Make sure it works. All right? Having said that, I'm going to click withdrawal here. There's no fee to withdraw from Coinbase Pro. Now I need my two-factor authentication from my Google Authenticator. So I'll go over there. I've got two-factor authentication enabled on my uh, Exchange account. 
you should, on every exchange account, have two-factor authentication enabled. It's another layer of security. And there we go, I'm done. The withdrawal has started. Let's go over to uh, my Ledger Live. I can uh, click up here for synchronize. It looks like the amount uh, just updated. Yeah, and then the, the transaction record is down here below. So 249 XRP was transferred from my Coinbase Pro account safely into my own wallet, right? So I don't know, a lot of people are having trouble with that. So that those are the steps. Now I wanna make it, I wanna go back the other way so you'll feel confident with that as well. I'm gonna show you two different ways to deposit XRP from a wallet or a different exchange back into your Coinbase Pro account. This is where the tag comes in, right? So now I'm gonna do a send and I'll, I need an XRP address. So let's go back over to Coinbase Pro. Now we're gonna do a deposit of our XRP from uh, another crypto address. And yes, I understand this is XRP only. And now I'm now I need both. Now I need the address and the tag. So I'm going to click I understand. And there's their wallet address. You can see they've got the QR code here. I'm not going to use that this time. I'll do the, the, the next one. There's the wallet address. So I'm going to click that, copy it into my clipboard, go back over here to Ledger Live, paste in the XRP address. Now I need the tag. Well, it says optional. If I were sending it to someone else's XRP wallet, then I wouldn't need it. But I'm sending it to an exchange that requires a tag. So let's go back. Let's copy that tag into our clipboard. Let's go back over to our Ledger Live. We'll paste in the tag. Now we've got address and tag. Let's hit continue. The amount, I'm just going to do 250. All right, another 50 bucks back. And then I'll hit continue. Now, because I have this XRP stored in my Ledger device, the private keys of this wallet are on my device. So in order to send crypto out, I need to sign the transaction. All right, we'll hit continue. Now, I just wanted to show you what happens on the device, right? Like I said, the, the, the uh, transaction needs to be signed by the device. So uh, Ledger Live is asking me to open the XRP app on my device. That's how I access the XRP private keys. So you can see there I can navigate around using the buttons. I'm on top of XRP now. I'll click both buttons and I'm in the XRP app. All right. Now uh, you can see on my screen it's asking me to confirm the transaction. The device says review. There's a little arrow here, which means I need to advance to the next screen. It gives me the amount of XRP I'm sending. I go to the next screen. It shows me the address. It shows me my destination tag. It shows me my fees, which are pretty small. Now I hit accept and send. In order to choose this choice, I need to click both buttons. We're back to that. And Ledger Live says that the transaction has uh, been sent, right? All right, now I'll just dismiss this. Let's go back over to our Coinbase Pro account. We can dismiss this and just wait a few minutes for the uh, XRP to arrive. All right, and there you go. The, the uh, XRP has arrived in my Coinbase Pro account. Now I'm gonna show you how to do the same thing uh, from a phone-based wallet where you can scan those QR codes. I'll use my crypto.com wallet for that. I'm gonna show you how to do a deposit from a phone-based exchange or wallet. There are wallets that are phone-based that you can use this method with. Uh, I'm gonna be using crypto.com, which is a phone-based exchange. I'm gonna transfer some XRP into my Coinbase Pro account. So uh, using the QR code addresses. So I'll show you how that works. We're here at the homepage of Coinbase Pro and we wanna make a deposit, right? We wanna deposit XRP into the account. So I'm gonna go over here to portfolios and I'm gonna choose deposit, all right? And then I'm gonna say XRP 
and I am depositing from a different crypto address, right? And they're going to let me know that it has to be XRP. Don't try to use uh, Bitcoin or Litecoin or anything. Now, the exchange requires both the XRP tag and the XRP address. So we want to make sure we get both of those. This is when we're depositing XRP into an exchange account. They need that tag. They may have a large shared XRP wallet address that takes multiple deposits from multiple people and the tag keeps it straight who is depositing what and where and when. They have one community XRP address and then multiple tags. That's why you have to specify your tag because if you don't and somehow your XRP gets in there, they won't know whose it is or where it's from. It's sort of like their, their XRP wallet is like a, uh, a post office. And okay, I can send a letter to a post office, but the post office is not going to know which P.O. box it goes into unless I include the P.O. box number. So the XRP tag is similar to a P.O. box number. That makes sense. All right. So I'm going to click I understand and I'm going to get my phone ready here. Now I've got my crypto.com open here. I've got my phone in my hand and uh, I've got some XRP in my account. So I'm going to tap uh, Ripple over here, XRP, and I'm going to do a transfer. And I'm withdrawing from crypto.com. So the crypto.com is where I'm my my source, right? I'm going to tap external wallet. All right, now I need to add the address of my Coinbase Pro account. You can see I've got an address whitelisted there already, but I need to whitelist this new address. All right, so as you can see here in uh, Coinbase Pro, we can swap between the wallet address and the XRP tag. Well, I'll start with the wallet address, all right? So let's get the phone back up again. I'm going to hit that plus up in the top right corner, and I'm going to create a, you know, I'm going to enter a new uh, XRP address. So I'm going to tap that little icon there next to the address at the top and it opens up the camera on my phone. So I'll scan in the XRP address. So now the XRP address is in my exchange wallet, right? But it, much easier than trying to type it by hand. Now I'm going to switch over to XRP tag in Coinbase Pro. Let's get the phone back up again. All right, now I'm going to tap that uh, little QR code icon on the destination tag on my phone. That opens up the camera again, and I scan in the XRP tag. And there we go. I've got the address filled. Now I need to give this uh, new wallet address a name in crypto.com. So I'll name it uh, Coinbase Pro and I'll hit continue. Now I need to enter my two-factor authentication for crypto.com because I'm adding a new address, right? I'll tap that crypto.com code up at the top. It copies into my phone clipboard. I'll slide back over to crypto.com. I'll tap and I'll paste that code and I'll hit continue. All right, so uh, that worked and now they're gonna send me a confirmation email another layer of security that came to my Gmail. I'll just tap that uh, alert. It takes me to the email. I'll tap that little confirm withdrawal address button, open Chrome back up again, and it's going to relaunch my crypto.com app. I'll tap open. And now you can see I've got that uh, Coinbase Pro address whitelisted in my crypto.com app. It's got the uh, XRP address and the tag. And so now I can click Withdraw XRP. I'll tap in the field where we can edit the amount. And I've got that max down below there uh, that says max 250 XRP. That's the max. I've only got $50 worth of XRP in this account, just for a demo. So I'll tap max, autofill the max. I'll hit Withdraw. Now that I'm actually withdrawing, right, it's going to confirm one more time. So I've got the Face ID security confirmation. 
I've got the two-factor authentication. So very secure method for sending your XRP. And there we go. Uh, the XRP withdrawal request has been submitted. I can tap anywhere to dismiss this. I'll get an email alert from crypto.com. My XRP balance is now empty. All right, we can get this out of the way. And let's go over here. We'll just dismiss this. We're done with this. It says 600 seconds. We'll see. <laughs> All right, so you can see on the alerts on my phone that I've got a confirmation from crypto.com that my withdrawal is complete. That means that it's uh, out on the XRP blockchain. So we'll go ahead and dismiss that. And let's see if it's uh, 600 seconds here. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. So we made a successful transfer of our XRP from our crypto.com account to our Coinbase Pro account. Uh, that was a phone based transfer where I was able to take advantage of those uh, QR codes. All right. So that's it. That's how you move XRP from an exchange to a wallet and then from a wallet back to the exchange. We only need the tag when we're depositing to exchanges. When we're withdrawing to our own wallets, we don't need the tag. So I hope that clears things up. If you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my very best to get them answered. Don't forget I have a live stream every Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please join me for my live Q&A from Michigan where you can throw out questions and I'll do my best to get them answered. Hope to see you there. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.